done for the can and these types of matchups. What does that mean? What, what did you see tonight defensively that made this team great in these types of matchups? Well, I felt to start the game, we weren't quite ready. And I have to give our bench a lot of credit. I felt that first quarter we went to our bench, I thought they were terrific. They kind of they brought the energy. And then when I put our starters back in, I thought they played at the level that was necessary considering who we were playing. Um, and I think it always starts there, Matt, you know, the energy and effort, the discipline. Um, I'll give you some numbers that kind of illustrate how effective our defense was tonight. On the season, that team averages 50 from the field. They shot 42 tonight. On the season, that team averaged 124 points. They scored 107 tonight. And I think most telling, that team lives in the paint. They averaged 50 in the paint. They had 26 tonight. Those are great numbers. We took care of the ball, 29 assists, only eight turnovers. Did not fuel their break. And uh, we did it for the most part, we did a pretty good job of defending without fouling. Um, so I think our guys were locked in to the game plan, to their personnel. Um, they present a lot of matchup problems, but I felt that guys were flying around. Even when it wasn't perfect, you have to have that scramble mentality. And, you know, the job that, you know, Aaron did on Giannis, Peyton did on Giannis, Aaron's block late on Dame was a big, big block. Uh, Nicola's activity, I mean, he had tonight uh, 15 defensive rebounds, two blocks, and three steals. Uh, and then the job that KCP did on Dane. I mean, so we had a lot of guys step up on that end of the floor, but complete buy-in uh, and a lot of commitment and discipline. On a night like tonight where Milwaukee also had a pretty good defensive game, just what allowed you guys to separate on the other end? Well, the funny thing is, you know, not many times when you look at a box score, if one team makes 16 threes, another team makes four, is a team with four going to win. So obviously, you know, we dominated the paint 56-26. Um, you know, but it was just uh, late in the game, going back to our patented two-man game. I mean, get, getting the matchups that we wanted, letting Nicola and Jamal play in space, and everybody else kind of reading off of it. And uh, that was, um, reminds you of what we've done time and time again over these last eight seasons with those two guys playing together. With Peyton Watson, you know, the defense and athleticism obviously, obviously pops, but nights like tonight, it seemed like the discipline and execution and understanding, the mental part of defense, where do you see the growth on him? And tonight, did you, you know, did that stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, like he had, like we showed a clip at halftime of, you know, Giannis is such a good player. He's going to drive left. He's going to spin. He's going to shop fake. He's going to step through. And he generates a lot of fouls that way. And Peyton was really committed and uh, disciplined uh, in, in terms of staying down, being the second man off the floor. And if he makes a tough shot, make it a tough contested two where you're not bailing him out with a silly foul. I grabbed him late. We had a play where Nicola tried to get him a lob pass. They broke it up. And then as we came up the court, he committed a foul in transition. And I said, what a great learning opportunity. In those situations, they're in the bonus. You can't put a guy on the foul line in that situation. So all these late game situations, you know, with Aaron getting in foul trouble, Peyton going out there, and making plays for us. These are just tremendous opportunities and growth opportunities for him. Is that a luxury that will continue to grow, like you, you talked about, that you can lose an Aaron Gordon and Peyton Watson can come in there and there's not a huge drop off? Yeah, I mean, and again, Scott, I, I think overall, Reggie, uh, you know, Christian didn't score tonight, but I loved his activity, his defense, the six rebounds. Like, everybody's like, CB's got to score more. No, CB's got to be aggressive. He's got to make winning plays, and I thought he did that tonight. Uh, Peyton, obviously, his impact, and even DeAndre's impact. But, yeah, when uh, Aaron Gordon gets his fifth foul, and I'm saying, okay, there's around four and a half, five to go. Do I ride him? Do I get him out? And then Peyton goes out there and plays really well, and we kind of build on the lead. So, yes, a luxury. And what's exciting for everybody in this room is what Peyton Watts is only going to get better. But the, the potential is, uh, is unlimited there. So, uh, really good win. You know, again, we have one game left in this 10-game stretch that we talked about. I think we're seven and two now, going on the road to play a very good team in OKC uh, that is up on us two to one on the head-to-head -head matchup. So uh, very, very proud of our group for playing the way we've played and closing out games. We have the number one clutch defense in the NBA through 47, 48 games. And I thought you saw some great examples of that tonight as well. Were you surprised, uh, to be honest, about a shot clock violation on a free throw? Uh, no. No, I mean, it's uh, 10 seconds. So uh, I was. You know, really happy that Diedrich, you know, made that call. And then after that, the fans got into it. And they started giving, you know, the, the whole arena was chanting the, uh, the 10 seconds. But, you know, what, what, what a 
game between two really good basketball teams. So uh, now we just got to turn the page and get ready for OKC. You didn't want to talk about it before the game, but congratulations when number 400. You getting me a signed ball, Katie? I'm going to get are we going to, ball, are we going to keep yes. that tradition? Yes, we are. Um, what does it mean to you? And now I guess you're chasing you know, Doug Moe and the rafters. Yeah, I mean, it means that I've been here a long time. <laughs> you know, nine years. And so when I think of 400 wins with the Denver Nuggets, I think of uh, Stan and Josh Kroenke, you know, believing in me. And more importantly, continuing to believe in me, to be the leader of this team, to be the head coach of this team. Uh, and that happened long before I won a championship. So that belief is just so it empowers you to do your job, knowing that you have the confidence from your ownership group. Uh, it speaks to tremendous players. I mean, how lucky am I to be a coach that gets to coach Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, KCP, Aaron Gordon, and not just the guys that are here right now, but all along the way. I mean, like we were at Philly, I saw Jameer Nelson, like Malik Beasley tonight. There's so many guys that have been a part of this. And the last thing I would say is, Tremendous coaching staff, you know, from year one to year nine, guys that have uh, really, really challenged me to be a better head coach. And, um, you know, that, that's how you get to 400 wins. You have belief from your front office, Calvin Booth, Tim Connolly, your ownership, tremendous coaching staff, and more importantly, great freaking players. And uh, I'm really, really blessed and fortunate in that regard. One more question. You saw Peyton Watson tonight at shooting guard for a tiny stint, and then you also saw him you know, replace Aaron Gordon, obviously out of necessity. What do you see from him in that two very different roles, and, and has he grown in the versatility of the role he can take on? Well, that's what I think it is for him, Adam. I think you know, he is just a Swiss Army knife. You know, we're going to put him on Giannis. We're going to put him on Dame Lillard. Every night he's going to guard somebody different because we feel he can impact that matchup defensively at a positive level. And uh, you know, offensively, the way we play, really positionless type of basketball. So he's just got to be in the right space, move without it, uh, make himself available, and uh, defensively be disciplined and just go out there and you know, try to lock people up and do it to the best of your ability. So you know, really proud of uh, Peyton's continued development. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Congrats, everybody.